Hey guys, yet another exciting game, or at least we hope. This will be Jesse versus Pegasus. So Crystal Beast versus mm -hmm. Toons. Our tournament's just been going along here. You can see the bracket in the beginning of the video showing you who's advanced so far. Always look at that so you know uh, who's going to maybe be battling who. And uh, looks like you'll be going first with Jesse's deck. So yeah, guys, just an awesome tournament so far. Hopefully you guys are really, really loving it. Um, I would say hopefully you're getting your money's worth. All right. I'll start. Amber Mammoth. Next, I have a crystal tree. Then I place a card face down in my turn. Draw. I want to try doing Pegasus voice. Yugi boy. It just, yeah, I'm not. I'll set one monster. And I will set one card and end my turn. All right. I'll place a monster in defense mode. Amber Mammoth, trample his set monster. Let our tree girl. Amber Mammoth. By the way, if you've watched the dub, sounds like Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> he goes, rah, rah, and just, la la for no reason at all. I don't know why they picked that. They did give the crystals a, a variety of voices, which I kind of yeah, like. That's true. Um, it's your turn. Draw. So what I think is really cool about this specific matchup is that Peggy, as we all know, created the Crystal Beast cards. Um, I will end my turn. He had them with him, and at a tournament, you know, they uh, they called to Jesse. They wanted him, you know, they they chose him. So Peggy just gave Jesse the cards. Like, well, the monster spirits chose you. I'm not gonna, you know, get in the way of that. So it's funny. So this is the guy who gave Jesse the cards. Directly, and then Jesse's gonna attack him with it. Fight him. Yep, that's good. All right, let's hope for a couple tunes to come down. Place a card, and then my turn. I draw. All right, guys. I activate Tune World, paying a thousand life points. I will special summon Toon Mermaid, and then I will tribute it for Parrot Dragon, because Toon Mermaid is a special summon. Yay, we saw a Toon, and then boo, you tributed it. Then I will special summon a second Toon Mermaid. There you go. You still get a Toon Mermaid. I'll attack Amber Mammoth with Parrot Dragon, and this is a pretty big turn for Pegasus. So let's see what comes of it. Sure. All right, dropping Pegasus by 300 life points. And uh, sadly, Crystal Tree will get a counter, but... I don't think Jesse's any spell and trap removal, so at the very least, Toon World is... And my Toons on the field are safe. Yeah, I end my turn. Obviously, when you're playing Pegasus deck, that's always a big concern. If they have spell and trap removal for Toon World, it can go downhill for you fast. I'll summon another Amber Mammoth. Sure. Attack Toon Mermaid. Sure. I'll end. Before you end, I'll activate Toon Mask. If you control Toon World, target one face monster opponent control, special one one Toon Monster from your hand or deck, whose level is less than or equal to the level rank of that monster, ignoring summoning conditions. Ooh, fancy level or rank. Yeah. Kind of came out in a Zexal era, so they got to account for that. Well, it's level four, so I will summon Toon Gemini Elf. And now because I special summoned it this turn, it can attack on my turn. Is it my turn? Yeah. I'll draw. All right, guys, so another real quick thing. So this is Pegasus' um, hybrid deck, which means it's a deck that is somewhat evenly built from multiple seasons that are of different playstyles or formats, um, which means Duelist Kingdom and a bit of the movie slash Waking the Dragons. So we don't always count everything as a hybrid if it has a couple cards from the next season, um, especially in like GX, where the seasons are all very consistent. But maybe there's a couple new cards like Zane's deck. 
Um, but because this deck is such a blend, again, that Duelist Kingdom, which was really a whole different style of gameplay. But because Duelist Kingdom will be coming out... Um, Ooh. This January, because we are building that deck true and true to Duelist Kingdom, this will be the last time we see our hybrid Pegasus deck because we're building Duelist Kingdom and likely at some point, although not 100% confirmed, we will, we're hoping to build a movie slash Waken the Dragons, you know, version of Pegasus's deck that will not be built as much of a hybrid um, it will be designed though to be in a more current format. Oh, oh, I was about to say, not putting in a spell. When a crystal beast bomb to your control, destroy it by into the graveyard. Place a crystal beast in your de from your deck in your spell trap red zone and take no damage for the rest of the turn. Wow. Hello, Ruby Carbuncle. That's two. Hmm. Well, there's no point having to do Gemini Alpha Attack directly now to inflict damage. I'll have it attack into whatever your face down is. Probably an Emerald Tortoise. Emerald Tortoise! How would I know? Alright, well, I will end my turn at that. Sure. Tree effect? Sure. Also, to answer any questions, um, because this is a Pegasus versus a GX deck duel. We've also been considering doing a Pegasus GX, although we're still working on that, and that could and come. We didn't play that many cards when we, the one yeah. time we dueled in GX. So maybe we do a hybrid with GX as well, because since we're also crossing different series. It's but something anyway, to think about. Something maybe down the road. Our, our hybrids are interesting the way we decide to, you know, if we feel it doesn't quite fit to one season or another. All right. Affect the Rainbow Ruins. Sure. To draw an extra card. Some of the card I just drew. Sapphire Pegasus. Things are going to go downhill for Pegasus pretty fast, I think. I already hear that toilet flushing. I'll take... A Cobalt Eagle. Sure. Hmm, you don't have this cat right now. Now, I'll activate the fifth effect of Rainbow Ruin. Since I have five Crystal Beasts in my Spell and Trap card zone, I can Special Summon one. Yep. And when I Special Summon Ruby Carbuncle to the field, he brings all the others out to play. So go, Sapphire Pegasus and Topaz Tiger. My second Pegasus will grab the last Crystal Beast from my deck. There's going downhill for me fast. Come on out, Amethyst Cat. All right, Topaz Tiger, chew down those Gemini Elves. Yeah, I'm dropping by 100, which isn't that bad. But I have no way over that field. Next, I'll place the card face down and end my turn. Well, guys, I basically will lose no matter what I do, but I'll have Power Dragon attack over Pegasus. and you'll take 100 damage because of Rainbow Ruins. This is a pretty grim position for Pegasus, and uh, yeah, I guess he'll be kissing it goodbye. I end my turn. I tried. I'll use the effect of Rainbow Ruins to draw another card. I'll end my turn.
a playtune table of contents. This is the one deck where you don't play Toon Table, into Toon Table, into Toon Table, into Toon World. No, actually, that's probably what I'm going to do. Oh. Um. What is this? Library Exodia? Oh, uh, those were the days. Toon Table. So, so, for those wondering why I wouldn't keep the Toon Tables in my deck to draw to search out another Toon, Toon Table, um, and why I'm playing them to search each other is because I'm decreasing my deck size to increase the statistical probability of drawing cards like Monster Born or Car of Sancti or cards that you couldn't search with Toon Table anyway. Yeah, which would help me. Um, oh dear. And if anybody played Library Exodia, you'll remember that. Which, by the way, for those of you who do Remember that deck. Still can't, still will never forget the one time I was at a tournament and I dueled a guy and I went first and the fir my first turn of the duel, I got Exodia. I lost the match, but everybody made fun of him between some and, and he was salty. And then my turn at that, because I can't attack this turn. Crystal B Sapphire Pegasus. And Topaz Tiger to defense mode. And I'll use Rainbow Ruins to draw again. I'll discard for hand size. <laughs> I'll draw. I'll have Tune Summon Skull Attack Topaz Tiger. I'll activate my trap card, Rainbow Path. When a poet's monster clears attack to the Crystal Beast card from your spell and trap cards under the graveyard, target the attacking monster, negate the attack, and then add a rainbow dragon from my deck to my hand. And now we all know where this was going. Well, that puts me in a pretty tough situation. I will summon Toon Gemini Elf in main phase two. And just end my turn at that. Guys, I'm trying. I'm working with what I have here. All right. It's time. Because I have all seven Crystal Beasts on the field or in my graveyard. I summon the mighty Rainbow Dragon. Rip. Next, I'll switch Topaz Tiger and Sapphire Pegasus to attack mode. Rainbow Dragon will attack Summon Skull. Rainbow Dragon, destroy Toon Summon Skull. I will take 1,500. Topaz Tiger, attack the Gemini Elves I'll again. I'll take 1,900 total from those. Well, guys, let's see what Pegasus can draw. Maybe Car Sanctity. Well, it's my turn. So, yeah, I mean, I Toon Table because grabbing another Toon Table and being able to grab a Blue Eyes uh, Mass Sorcerer here wouldn't help me. But Car Sanctity would, but I didn't get it, and Monster Born might. But, um, that's it. I end my turn. Sadly, Pegasus just couldn't pull it out. All right. Rainbow Dragon going for the kill. Drop that 4,000. Well, guys, there you have it. Jesse Steamroll Pegasus and uh, Crystal Bees beat out tunes. Hopefully, you guys have been enjoying the tournament. It's just another game down. Jesse moves on to the top eight, to the quarterfinals. Uh, keep watching. We're almost done with the first round. Really awesome stuff, guys. All right, so next up, the last duel of the preliminary mm -hmm. round. Aster with his, update, uh, with his updated Destiny Heroes. There's a card of Sancti. There's one more card That just away. came out versus Joey's Waking the Dragons. So that should be a really, a pretty intense matchup. But yeah, this was, um, I'd say, an unsurprising ending. Just the deck is very strong. I there's a car saying though. Uh, I almost got it. A good farewell to Pegasus' hybrid deck. We're looking forward to seeing, you know, his Duels Kingdom deck when we release that wave. Yeah. Guys, just keep watching the tournament. Lots of cool videos to come. Duels Kingdom wave in January. Why join May Games out.